this is an abstract of the clinical activity of fialimab, which is a uh, anti-LAG3 monoclonal antibody combined with semiplumab, which is an anti-PD-1 antibody in patients with advanced melanoma. I think in melanoma, there's going to be a huge focus on LAG3 as a target. Uh, ASCO was one of the first places where uh, Paulo Acierto showed that you can reinvigorate T cells uh, by giving LAG3 along with PD-1 and restoring immune function. Uh, these are uh, first line and second line trials. This trial with Fialimab allowed patients who were previously treated and patients who were therapeutically naive. What we see here are response rates of 63% for anti-PD-1, PD-L1 naive patients, and also 13.3% for patients who are PD-1 experienced. Um, this is in line with what we've seen in other second line, but the first line data is important. Response rates around 60% are in line with what we've seen with PD-1, CTLA-4 combinations. The caveat here is uh, these responses are durable, similar to other combinations, but the toxicity is less than what we've seen with anti-PD-1, anti-CTLA-4. I think as we go forward, drugs like Fianlamab in the targeting of LAG3 are going to have a huge place in melanoma and then move into the care of other solid tumors and slowly try to answer the question of what's our first-line therapy? What do we give for patients who have recurred after adjuvant PD-1? What about our patients who are frailer and cannot tolerate a 55% grade 3 or 4 toxicity? ASCO 2021 features this abstract with Fianlamab, but also the Relativity 47 trial looking at first line versus nivolumab of uh, LAG3 and nivolumab, and also an abstract that I think more of us will be focused on is the neoadjuvant data that's going to be presented with LAG3 PD-1 in patients with melanoma. This abstract shows high pathologic complete response rates and low toxicity. So slowly you'll see LAG3 coming into therapeutic regimens for melanoma and other solid tumors. Uh, we have clinical trials now looking at not just combinations with PD-1, but triplets with anti-LAG, anti-TIM, and anti-PD-1 in refractory population patients. So uh, this will be an ASCO that focuses on LAG3 therapy and this uh, poster of Fianlamab and Semiplumab in patients with advanced melanoma will be a major part of that story.